What do you say to people who are losing patience with gas prices at $3 a gallon? What we are seeing is, you know, a, a government run for the oil company. Drivers are paying a heavy price for the Bush administration's failure to enact a comprehensive energy strategy. This Congress, under the Democratic leadership, is working to make up for years of inaction, taking America in a new direction that helps bring down the cost of gas. Gas prices have more than doubled since George Bush became our president. Good evening, I'm Cynthia McFadden. Tonight, $3.51. That's the average price nationwide of a single gallon of regular unleaded gasoline. That means a 15-gallon tank now costs more than $50 to fill. As a little reference point, the week George W. Bush was sworn in as president, the price of a gallon of gas was $1.47. Now, even accounting for inflation, that's almost a 200% increase. And since we're guessing your paycheck hasn't grown 200% in the last eight years, we asked Vicki Mabry to head to Arlington, Texas, to see the creative ways people are paying their People are blaming oil companies for these high prices, but in what could be an ominous sign for Republicans, a number of people we spoke to are blaming President Bush. With the Bush administration under pressure to curb rising gas prices. The political pressure is rising about as fast as the price of gas, so the president gives a major energy speech today. Spiking gas prices from coast to coast have created new political pain for an administration already falling in the polls. Well, now... I noticed some folks clapped, but I know some of these big guys, they're all still driving their big SUVs, you know, they got their big monster trucks and everything. You're one of them? Well, now, here's my point. You know, if, if you're complaining about the price of gas and you're only getting eight miles a gallon, you know, <laughs> well, I, you may have a big family, but it's probably not that big. <laughs> so, how many you have? Ten kids, you said? Ten kids? Well, you definitely need a hybrid van then. You wouldn't think high gas and oil prices would be a blessing in disguise, but they are. As Victor Lopez found out, they're causing a big jump in the number of jobs. We turn now to five things you should know about gas, specifically why gas prices, even at over $4 a gallon, can sometimes be a good thing. And we know that rising gas prices are forcing us to search for alternative fuels and more fuel-efficient cars. There are some other reasons to be optimistic about the high cost of gas. Here are just a few of them. 2,220 people have already been saved over the past year because a reduction in driving has led to less particle pollution in the air. If gas prices stay uh, at $4 a gallon for a year or more, then we can expect that about 1,000 people a month will not die. Things that you can do individually, though, to save energy. Making sure your tires are properly inflated. Simple thing. But we could save all the oil that they're talking about getting off drilling. If everybody was just inflating their tires and, and, and getting regular tune-ups, you could actually save just as much. So could these so, high prices help us? I think that I would have preferred a gradual adjustment. Well, gas prices hit a new record high. And the Energy Department says you can expect $4 gas through the rest of this year and into next year as well. I think that I would have preferred a gradual adjustment. Gas price is now hitting a new record high today, topping four bucks a gallon. I think that I would have preferred a gradual adjustment. It's cutting deep into our pockets and gas prices have once again risen to another record. It was the most memorable time of my life. I, I, it was a touching moment because I never thought this day would ever happen. I won't have to worry about putting gas in my car. I won't have to worry about paying my mortgage. You know, if I, if I help him, he's going to help me.